All right, let's get started with lesson seven of unit three, the area of squares, rectangles, and triangles. And yes, this lesson and lesson eight, nine, and 10 are review lessons of area. We need them whenever we start to go into unit four. So these are going to be nice and quick and we're actually going to expand your thinking of area. So first, we're going to start with squares and rectangles. The area of a square or rectangle is the same formula. It's the length times the width, or it's sometimes called base and height. They're interchangeable. So let's go ahead and do a couple examples. Start here with number one. We have a square that is four by four. So we know the area is going to be 4 times 4, which is 16. And then we need to really focus on the units. We need to get used to using units appropriately. And we know the units are inches. And it's not just inches, it's inches squared. Whenever you find area, your unit is always squared. Square inches, square feet, square meters square units if a unit of measurement is not indicated. So I want you to go ahead, pause the video, and your group work through 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so number 2, it's 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56 and it is centimeters squared 3 2 times 3.5 and that gives us 7 and that little dash up there, the little apostrophe, means feet so it's feet squared and then we have a square that is 7 by 7 so 7 times 7 is 49 yards squared Next, we're going to talk about triangles. Now, a triangle is interesting because if you take a rectangle or a square and you chop it in half on a diagonal, you get two triangles. And that's where our formula for area of a triangle comes from. It's one half times the base times the height. It's like we took half of a square or half of a rectangle. And there's three types of triangles that you'll see. There's the right triangle. You know it's right because of this right angle. There's triangles that look like this where the height is on the inside and then there's the base. And then there are triangles where you'll see the height actually on the outside. And the base and the height here are very key in their positions. You'll notice there's a special type of angle in every single one of these. It's that right angle. The base and the height in a triangle are have a connection. There has to be a right angle going from the height down to the base. You see that it happens in all of these. From the height to the base, there has to be a right angle. Okay. So what I would like you to do now is to pause the video and in your group do these three examples. Okay. Number one, it's five times 7 divided by 2 and that gives us 17.5 inches squared it looks like we have 1 half times 8 times 12 which gives us 48 centimeters squared and then finally, 
we have 4 times 6 divided by 2, which is 12. And our unit is feet squared. Alright, now that we've got the basic gist of finding area of squares, rectangles and triangles, we're going to extend the idea. So here's our situation. A farmer bought a pasture they're going to raise cows in. We know that each cow needs 3,000 square feet to live comfortably. The farmer tries a field that looks like below. It's that triangle down there. How many cows can the field fit? So what you're going to do in your group after you pause the video is you're going to try to figure out how many cows will fit in this field that we have. So go ahead and try that now. Okay. Moving on to the next example. If fencing costs one dollar per foot, how much will they spend? So you, what you're going to do is you're going to take the answer you got from the last one and you're going to apply it here and see how much are we going to spend. My apologies. Ignore what I just said about the fencing. What you're going to do is you're going to look at the dimensions of that triangle. And if you have to think about where are you going to fence? Do you fence on the inside? Do you fence just on the outside? How does that work? So with your group, pause the video and try to figure out how much it costs to fence that field. Okay, our last example where we extend area. The farmer now knows he can afford 1,500 feet of fence. So we're establishing this is how much we have. What are the dimensions and area of the best square and rectangle field? So what you need to do is you need to take that 1,500 feet and you need to play with it by creating a square and a rectangle that's going to maximize the area. Then I want you to write down what the dimensions are and the area of each of those figures. So go ahead and pause the video and try that with your group. Okay, after you have that done, this will be the end of this lesson. So go ahead and try some practice problems.